Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make the square in like a lamb, out like a lion, which has been designed by Margaret McInnes. The yarn that I'm using to do this video is Schepje's stone washed yarn, and I'll be using two crochet hooks for this video. The reason is that at a certain point you need to drop a hook size. So I'll be using a 4 and a 3.5 millimeter hook. So you'll need your standard hook size and you'll need one size smaller to make this square. Take you step by step through the rows that make up this square. So thank you for watching. Round one. I mean, slip knot on my hook. I'm going to start with a chain four, and then close with a slip stitch. You can also do a magic ring here if you prefer. I'm doing the chain 4 slip stitch to just make sure that nothing comes unraveled because my magic loops have uh, have gone wrong in the past. I'm going to do a chain 2. This is my first half double crochet. And then in the ring, let's find a little hole and to work 11 more. So they're in that ring. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. and 11. So now I have 12. Let me just double check. So that's a chain 2 and 1. So, oh, I can't count upside down. There we go. That's chain 1 and then that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes. So that's chain 2 plus 11. I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to join this with an invisible join. So I'm going to open up. Pick up my yarn with a needle. And looking at your stitches, you see you have the chain 2 here and the stitch that's next to it. I'm going to go through the stitch that's next to it. Pull through. And then come back to my last stitch worked and through the top of that stitch insert my needle and push through and in the process you're going to make a little hat that kind of covers the chain 2 there, that, that is the stitch that I just made and now it looks exactly the same as the two stitches next to it you're kind of making a hat on the chain 2 now I'm going to work away my yarn tail and then that completes round one. Round two, the new color yarn. I'm going to start in any stitch, doesn't matter which stitch. But it's important we're only going to work in the front loop of any stitch. So you've got two loops, only the front one. Only the front loop and attach my yarn with a slip stitch. Chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Chain 8. Now we're going to come down and work double crochets in these loops. And we're going to use the back loop from these stitches. If this is the chain stitches, I'm going to skip the first two from the hook and the third in the back loop. So in that loop we're going to be working because the other loops we're going to need in a different moment. So in the back loop work a double crochet. What I'm also going to do is I'm just going to mark this chain two loop here. 
because we're just going to need that later on. And then I know how to find it. So I'm going to make one double crochet in the back loop of that third chain from the hook. And you see here I'm now creating that little gap there. That's my chain 2 space. I'm just going to hook up a stitch marker in there. In that chain 2 that I just made. And that way I know where to find it later on. And then complete my double crochet. So I've got the chain 2 here and that first double crochet. I'm going to do 5 more doubles in the next back loops also. So you see I'm working in the back loop. It's one. Two. Three. Now you've made a flower petal and it's got a chain 2 loop right there at the start and it's got 6 double crochets like a ladder here on this flower petal. So now we come back down to the ring from round 1. We're going to close with a slip stitch attach this flower petal and this is in the same stitch as where we started in. see there so you've got two slip stitches in that same position. I'm going to skip the next half double and then slip stitch into this stitch after that. I'm going to skip this half double and go to the next and only in the front loop work a slip stitch. Also with the slip stitch which was after this flower petal was only in the front loop. So here to the back you've got your back loop still available. We're now going to repeat this flower petal on the next position. I'm going to show you the repeat once more and then you do it several times to go all the way around. So the next flower petal is chain 8. 1, 2, 3, Five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to grab another stitch marker because I'm going to need it in a moment. Looking at your stitches, I'm going to skip the first two chain spaces and in the third one, chain stitch third from the hook, in that back loop, I'm going to work a double crochet. Complete the double. And now that I still know where it is, I'm just going to see that space there. I'm just going to hook up a stitch marker in that space. That's a chain two space. That was my first double crochet. I need five more. This one. This is one. Two. is number five. So now you've again got six double crochets and that chain two space at the tip. A slip stitch in the same position, front loop only. Skip the next half double and go to the stitch after. And make a slip stitch. That's two flower petals made. I'm going to go all the way around and I'll just see you here just for that last um, after you've done the last flower petal I'll just see you for that last join and connecting to the start. So I've just worked petal number six with the six double crochets on it. Chain two loop at the tip. So here are my other five petals. Now I'm going to close with a slip stitch in the 
the same place that I started this petal. Everything's still in the front loop. I'm going to skip the next half double. That's going to be your last half double. And then close with a slip stitch in the first loop where we started this round. And that completes this round. And I have six flower petals. And I'm going to cut my yarn, work away my tails, and then take it from round three. Round three. Important for round three, I'm going to drop a hook size. So go one hook size smaller than you did round one and two. So a smaller hook. For this round, we're going to um, work in the loops, the back loops of most of our stitches and the back bump loops of our stitches. Now let me just show you where that is. If you look at the tip of your flower petal, you see you've got this chain 2 space here. And that chain 2 space is made out of two chain stitches. If I just roll this forward, you'll see exactly what I mean. You see there is a chain, that's a chain, and this one next to it which is still curled inward is also a chain. I'm just trying to pull them forward. You see that little V is a chain stitch and that little V is a chain stitch. Now we're going to be working in the back bump of these um, chain stitches. So if you roll them over, you see there is a little loop. That is one of the, is the back bump of the of this um, chain that's on the left, and this chain here on the right, which is just curled inwards again, that is the back bump of that chain stitch. So we're going to work in these two loops. That means the V that's here to the front is going to remain unworked, and that's going to give a nice edge to our flower petals. So this loop and that loop are the ones that you need to make the new corner. And this is also the reason why I marked this stitch because now you know exactly which two loops you need. It's not this loop. This one belongs to the double crochet, your first double crochet. That loop and this loop in the back bumps. We're going to be working in those two. On the double crochet we're going to be working in the back loops only then we're going to come down we're going to work a, a decrease here I'll show you that in a moment when we get there and then we're going to come back up and work on this side of the flower petal and there we're again going to work in this back loop here this is again a uh, a bump back bump stitch from the chains so remember when we worked the double crochets we worked in the back loop see them there. And these loops here are the front loops. They're still unworked. And if you turn it over, you see those loops there. Those we're also going to be working in when we come back up. And especially this very first one here, the very first one there, can be easy to skip. And that one you're going to be using for your decrease. That's going to be your first stitch. I'll show you when we get there then you know which ones I mean. So for the moment we're going to start in the loop with a new color yarn and a smaller hook. I have a slip knot on my hook. So this is a smaller sized hook. And I'm going to just remove the stitch marker because it's going to make life a little easier to work in. But, I've, but I now know exactly which two loops I need. Mm. Those two. Then to the back, in that first back bump, insert your hook through there, only that one loop, and complete the single crochet. Chain two, and then go to the next single crochet, and what you'll see happens because you've worked through that one loop, this next one kind of 
it, it becomes a bit smaller. That's because you've pulled that back loop open, that back bump open. So, so if you can't find it, pull everything back. You see, uh, there's the little stitch. Then roll it over and here to the back. Let me just find my needle again. Here to the back, and that loop. That's the one you need. Going to work a single crochet in there. And there we go. And working a smaller hook here is a good idea because then, because otherwise it's all going to be a little bit um, too much in this small space. Then that's a new flower tip we just made, that new chain 2 space. Turn, and now we're going to work in the double crochets of the flower petal. On the first five in the back loop, work a single. So in that first one, back loop. So one, two, three, four. Over the next three stitches we're going to work a decrease. It's going to be the double crochet, the first one that we have here, in the middle, because we have, remember below here you've got a, if I can just open that up, you've got that stitch there, that's the half double from round one that we skipped. We're going to work through the stitch from round one, covering this slip stitch here, and then this first double crochet on this side worked in the chain I'm turning it over through that loop so on these three positions that back loop the half double from round one going through that covering everything and the back bump here on the next flower petal I'm going to work a decrease over those three to yarn over and the first one is the last double crochet. Pull up and take off two loops. Yarn over two times. One, two. And now you're going to insert your hook into the half double from round one. So into that stitch from round one. And you're going to cover everything that you encounter in between take off two loops take off two loops got three loops on your hook yarn over the first double crochet here that's worked in that first chain stitch just roll it over if you're having trouble finding it, just help yourself to a needle. So that stitch, that loop there, and you can see it's been covered a little bit by this um, this second post here that we just made of the decrease. But that's the stitch you need. A yarn over into that loop, and this can be a little bit tight because. These chain stitches are usually not extremely loose. Take off two loops. At this point, you have four loops on your hook. Take them all off in one go. And that was your special decrease that you just made. We're now going to come back up on the other side of the next flower petal and then in these back bumps here work five single crochets and this is the first one if I can just get my there we go the first one it's one you will have to help this just a little bit two 
there's number three. You can see I'm just gonna have to just help that loop a little because it is all just a little tight. Three, four, and here comes the last one. And this one, be, be sure to not miss it. That there is the last one. That there's number five. And now we're at the tip of the next pedal and a chain two space. Remember, I've marked that chain two space. And here we're going to do <coughs> on this flower pedal tip, we're going to do exactly the same as we did on this one that we started with. So we're going to make a new flower tip. Again, I've marked the, the chain two loops so I know exactly which two loops they are. It's that one and that one. Rolling over to the back you see there's a loop and there's a loop. Those are the two loops you need. I'm going to remove the stitch marker because now I know exactly where they are. Now I won't forget. Then in that first loop to the back up. See there's the front of the stitch, so I'm in the back bump, single crochet, chain two. The next loop to the back. You can see how that loop has been pulled inward because I've just worked in the stitch next to it. So I'm just going to have to help that just a little bit. and a single crochet. Now I've made a new flower tip, a new chain 2 space. And this chain 2 space I've just made is exactly the same as that chain 2 space that I just started with. So everything I've just done here you're going to do along the other flower petals also. And after you've done your last special decrease here and you've come up working in those back loops, back bumps there, those back back bumps. So your last one you're going to work five single crochets and close here on this first stitch. When well, you've completed round three with all your detail around your flower petals you've got six of these nicely defined flower petals. You can see those loops on both sides of the petal and this is what you want. This will bring you a nicely defined flower. So this was maybe the most difficult round of the square. Round four. I have a new color yarn on my hook and we're going to be working in the back loops of the single crochet stitches that we have on these flower petals. Good to start on any pedal, doesn't matter which one. Let me just show you where we're going to start. We're going to take this pedal, we've got the chain loop here, and now we're going to count down till we get to the fourth single crochet. Now, that there is my first one, that's one, two, three, four. This is single crochet number four. We're going to start there, and then we're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch. Going to skip this single, going to skip the we're going to work a front post in here, skip the single and then come back the other side. So that's what we're going to be doing. So just coming down from the pedal, the tip, count one, two, three, four single crochets in the back loop of that stitch, make a single. And my first one will be a standing single. Standing single crochet in the back loop of the fourth single crochet. Make a single in the back loop of the next stitch also. This is going to be single crochet number five. Next up we're going to do a front post treble Around this special decrease we made here, you've got that, um, yeah, this, let me 
called this this front post that stitch there. I'm going to make a front post treble around that twice over. This long stitch you've got here, down here. Hook up over that stitch and complete the treble. One, two, three. To the back you've got a single crochet. It's a single crochet. You've got this special decrease and you've got another single crochet. We're going to skip all three of those stitches. The next stitch, again a single crochet, I'm going to work in the back loop of that. So it will be the second single crochet. And also the next one. And the one after that. I'll show you this repeat again if that went a little too fast. Chain four, one, two, three, four. I think we're going to come to the other side of the flower petal and work a single crochet in the back loop of the third single crochet. Now I'm pulling up this petal, and you can see there's stitch one, two, and three in the back loop of that third one. Work a single. And in that position is the last stitch of the repeat. Just show you the repeat once more. So the full repeat, you've got that stitch, which is the third stitch. See those first two? One. Two. Three single crochets. Same as on this side, you've got three single crochets on either side. Everything still in the back loop. You see you've got a single crochet there. This is that special stitch and a single crochet there. These are the three stitches you're going to skip after we've worked that front post treble. And then in that stitch number four there you're going to start. So skipping these one, two, three stitches. First the treble, twice over. And kind of around this stitch you have here, work a treble, front post. And indeed skipping those one, two, three stitches to the back, single crochet, the next single crochet, back loop. See I'm skipping three stitches. And next one and the next. And it doesn't want to cooperate with me. There we go. So you have two single crochets left until you get to the tip again. Then one two, three, four chain stitches. Go to the other side. While you're doing so, your chain four loop goes to the back behind your pedals. And then one, two stitches skip in the third single crochet back loop. Work a single. That's one, two, and three again. And these three are again the same as those three. So you can see what you're doing is you're building on this flower petal. So go all the way around. When you get here, on your last repeat, go to work that, that single crochet there, that one single crochet, leaving those first two unworked. You've got one left. And then close with a slip stitch on this first single crochet. Round five. I'm going to start with a chain two using the same kind of yarn. This chain two counts as my first half double on that center of these three single crochets. A half double in the next. 
around the front post treble I'm going to do a front post double crochet In the next three singles work a half double on each especially that first one can be easy to miss so one two three half doubles. In the chain 4 space, this one here, I'm going to work 5 double crochets. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 double crochets. Come back down on the other side of the pedal and on your three singles work a half double on each. One, two, and three. Around the front post treble, put the front post double. Over, around the stitch, pick up and complete the double. The other side again, three half doubles on these three singles. So one, two, three. To the back, in the chain loop, five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and number five. Come down and work a half double on each of these three single crochets. I've now done the repeat twice with you going to do four more, that means you go all the way around and when you're here to the point where we started going to work one half double in that first single crochet so you work the five in the chain two loop one in that first single crochet and then close on the chain two round six, I have a new kind of yarn on my hook and we're going to start behind any flower petal, you've got the tip of the flower petal here you've got those five double crochets that you worked in that space we're going to start in the first of those five double crochets so that's that stitch there to start there with a single crochet and my first one is of course a standing single crochet single crochet in the next stitch also so that's two singles for the next stitch we're going to work a half double through the tip of the flower petal and the next double crochet so we're going to join these two together so if you look at your flower petal you've got that little chain space there come to yarn over for the half double go through that chain space and through the next stitch see everything I have on my hook then pick up your yarn and complete the half double on the next two stitches going to work a single crochet on each of those just one and two On those five double crochets you work two singles, then a half double through the flower petal and the stitch, and two singles again. We're going to work in between the flower petals. We're going to skip the three stitches here and then come to the front post stitch, this double crochet. We're going to work everything in that stitch, two trebles, a front post treble, and two more trebles. So that's twice over for a treble. 
and skipping the three stitches go to the front post stitch I work a treble and a second treble in that front post stitch work a front post double treble crochet so twice over is a treble three times over is a double treble around the post pick up your yarn and complete one two three four times now again two double oh sorry two trebles that's twice over in the same stitch I'm going to come to behind the treble the front post that I just made and in that same stitch slightly to the back I work one treble and the second treble so in that one stitch I've now make five stitches so the two trebles the front post double treble and two trebles skip the next three stitches so those three stitches and then your next stitch should be the first double crochet that's in this chain space here work a single in there you can see how that single is the same one as the one we started with here so now again single crochet and a half double to catch the flower petal just through the tip of that petal and the next stitch catch your yarn complete the half double and then one two more singles in the next position come here to this front post double crochet work two trebles so one two work a front post double treble so it's three times over one, two, three, four times taking off two loops twice over one, two, three and one, two, three two more trebles to the back in that same position. Again, skipping three stitches. So that is one, two, three, skip, work a single. I'm going to repeat this all the way around. So I'm now again at the same position here. Repeat this on all your flower petals. You're here on your first stitch, close there with a slip stitch. Round seven going to start with a single crochet in any stitch I'm just going to put a yarn on my hook there we go. Going to start with a single crochet in any stitch so it doesn't matter where you start I'm just going to choose in this stitch here and this is pretty random which stitch you choose take the back loop and work a single crochet in there I'm just going to mark this stitch. I'm just going to put a marker here. For the repeat unit, do a single crochet in the next four stitches, back loop only. One, two, three. Four stitches. In the next stitch, you do two single crochets. One, two. This you're going to repeat eleven more times. So a single crochet on the next four stitches. One, two, three, and 
four and then in the next stitch work two single crochets one two repeat this four single crochets and then an increase so two single crochets and one stitch until you're almost all the way around and then I'll just show you the last part work to repeat it 11 times you have four stitches left on those four stitches going to work a single crochet on each and the last one here is number four and then in the stitch where we started we've already got a single crochet going to work a single crochet in there also cut your yarn to open up and then to close with an invisible join. I'm just going to hook up my yarn on my needle. You could also do this with a hook but with a needle is just as easy. This is the marked stitch. I'm just going to quickly remove that stitch mark and then I'll just place it back. This is the stitch that we the, the first stitch worked. I'm just going to go to the stitch next to it. And then you're covering that standing stitch. So push your needle through the stitch to the back. And what you're doing is you're going to create a new top for the stitch. You can see there, that's the stitch I just created. So I'm just going to put the marker back in. And here to the back you see the yarn tail that we started with and there's the slip knot that was on my hook. So what you could do is you could undo that slip knot, that would give you a neater finish and then work away this yarn tail and I'm going to work away this yarn tail. That completes round 7. Round 8, new color yarn. We're going to start in the marked stitch. In that stitch, I'm just going to remove the stitch marker, start in there with a single crochet. The next stitch, also a single crochet. Oh dear, I think I just split my yarn, let me just do that again. single crochet, next stitch work a half double and also in the next, so that's two singles and two half doubles then double crochet on the next two stitches one and two and then a treble on the next two stitches One, and two. For the next two stitches we're going to work a corner. So we're going to work two trebles in the next stitch, chain two, and two trebles in the stitch after. It's twice over. So one, two trebles, chain two and in the next stitch work two trebles and two that's your new corner that chain two space going to come down this way the way we built up it's going to be treble on the next two stitches one and two, a double crochet on the next two, so one, two, a half double on the next two, so one, 
two and a single crochet on the next four. So one, two, three, four. And these last two single crochets are the same as these first two that we started with. So number one and two is the same as number three and four here. So from that stitch up to the second of those single crochets, this is your corner. And you're going to repeat this on your other three edges also. So you're going to have four corners in total. So do your repeat. Go Now you're going to work up again, make a corner, come down again with your stitch length. And when you're at the first stitch, close on that stitch. Now at the end of round 8 I'm going to close with a slip stitch on that first stitch. So that first standing single crochet. And now I'm going to leave this yarn here. So the entire ball, I'm going to leave it attached and we're going to continue with a different color in round 9 and then we're going to pick this back up later on. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to hook a stitch marker into this loop that I don't accidentally lose it. And then we're going to continue with round 9 with a different color. Round 9, I'm going to start with a new color yarn. You can start in any corner space you like. I'm purposefully going to start in this corner so that I can immediately show you how to deal with this um, loop that's still there. Basically you're going to ignore it, you're just going to do as though it's not there. And then what you do on this edge you do on the other three also. I'm going to attach in the corner with a slip stitch. My yarn tail, yeah, a little longer. Chain four, one, two, three. Your first chain three is a double crochet and a chain one. So the chain four. And in the same space, go to work a treble. So it's twice over. And work a treble. Chain two, one, two and another treble. This chain two here, that's your new corner. Chain one and a double crochet in the same space. So as such this is symmetrical, it's a double crochet, chain one, treble, chain two, treble, chain one, double. All of that in the same corner. Now we're ready to work the first edge. We're going to skip the first two stitches and then work a double crochet in the next. So the first two skip is one, two skip, one, two, and then work in the third stitch. We're going to work a double crochet in there. Sorry, before I forget, still a chain one. I almost forgot. So double crochet, chain one. Now we skip two stitches and we work a double. One, two, skip, and then work a double. Chain one. Skip the next stitch and work a double crochet. Skip that one and work a double. Going to continue this until we're to the other side. Chain one, skip the next stitch and work a double. Chain one, skip the next stitch and work a double. And now you, you would do that in the stitch where you have this slip stitch. Important, we're going to omit the slip stitch and kind of next to it, you see closely there. 
see that's that's the slip stitch if I just open this up you'll see you'll see that you have that loop there you don't want to work over the slip stitch but you work next to it so in that same stitch next to the slip stitch I'm going to make a double so you're just going to act as though that slip stitch isn't even there you see it's still to the back here and I'll pick this up in the next round chain one skip the next stitch work a double chain one skip a stitch work a double chain one skip a stitch double chain one skip a stitch and work a double going to do this, we've now done this I believe nine times so there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. I still need a last chain one. I'm going to skip the last stitch, so that one stitch, and then go to my next corner. And here again a double crochet, chain one, treble, Chain two, one, two, and the treble. Chain one, a double, chain one, and this corner is the same as the corner we started with. So to repeat this edge again, skip one, two stitches. And then do a double and you can see how this double is exactly the same as that double there. Don't worry about the asymmetry because you've skipped here two stitches after the corner and you've only skipped one stitch before the corner. Don't worry about that. As long as you've got all your chain one spaces everywhere you'll be fine. And you note here how I just kind of ignored that slip stitch. You see how I'm just next to that slip stitch because that's the slip stitch to pick that up in the next round but on these edges it's going to be easier because here you don't have any slip stitches to worry about so just continue all the way around and you come here close on the third of those four chain spaces and then I'll see you for round 10 round 10 this round we're going to pick up the loop we have from round 8 and open up that stitch marker and pick up my loop. Now you're currently in the stitch where you have a double crochet and also. We're going to slip stitch to the next position. That's going to be this empty stitch here. I'm going to do that from the back because you don't want the slip stitch to be here in front. You're going to do it from the back. So just go to the next stitch. I'm really going to pull this loop tight, that loop, because I want this slip stitch to be as small as possible. See how you've made that slip stitch to the back and then from the front you don't see anything. I'm going to start by making a standing double crochet. Now I'm just going to open up my loop a little bit. I'm going to twist my hook, pick up my yarn, and come back. So now I have a loop on my hook, just as though I would have a double crochet. And then take off both. Some people prefer to do this standing double crochet even slightly different. So to yarn over and then come back, oh, pick up that loop. You see, I can't even do that. So maybe technically I'm more doing a standing half double than I'm doing a double. But I found that this works well for me. So I'm kind of eyeballing how high I want this stitch. And turn. Pick up that loop. And turn back. All the time really holding on to that first loop. Put two loops on your hook. And take them both off. 
This for me is my standing double crochet. And that kind of fills this gap here, that stitch, that chain one space. Go to the next stitch, which is going to be this double crochet, and in there work a single. In the next stitch, we're going to work a double crochet. That's this space here from round eight. However, we're not going to work it from the front, we're going to work it from the back. So from the back, through that stitch, pick up and work a double. I'm going to come forward again to the top and work a single. So all the singles are going to be worked here in the top of your stitches. And all the double crochets are going to be worked from the back in this space. So next is again a double crochet, so from the back into that stitch, pick up and complete the double. Single crochet again, from the back, work a double. See when I work a double I fold my work forward and I work the single I fold it back up. Double crochet in this last stitch and fold back up and work a single. On the corner, I'm going to work a double crochet in this chain two space from round eight in between these two stitches there. In that space that I've just created, I'm going to work a double crochet in there. So between to the, the double crochet and the treble from round nine. Work a double crochet. So that's a double crochet there in that space. Then a single crochet on the treble. In the chain two space from round nine, work a single. Now we're going to work a treble between the trebles here in round eight. So I'm just going to open that up. So in that space between the trebles, going to work a treble from behind. So from behind, so fold your work forward in that space, and then complete the treble. You see, there's the treble there in between. Then work a single in the chain two space. And work a single in the treble. This is your new corner. This single treble single. That treble there forms a new corner stitch. Coming to the next chain one space. Again, we need a double crochet between the treble and the double. So exactly the same as this one here. I'm going to do it there also. Yarn over, folding my work forward between the two, work a double. Then come back up and work a single on the double crochet. Now this gives you a very interesting corner effect here. On the straight edge, you've got two stitched stitches skipped. I'm going to work a double crochet in the second one, in that one, from behind. Again, fold my work forward, work a double, and work a single in the double crochet from round nine. Double crochet in the sp skipped stitch from round eight, from behind, Fold my work forward again and a single. And this we're going to repeat until here. Then we work the corner exactly the same as we've done this corner. So we're going to work a double from behind, then work a single in the top. Double, single, double, single, all the way. Here you work a 
double, single, double in between this space, single, single in the chain 2 space, treble in the chain space from round 8, another single in the chain 2 space from round 9, single on the treble, double in the chain 2 space from round 8, and then again a single, and then you're on the next straight edge. So this round, take it slow, when you're all the way around, here I'll just show you how to do that closing on that first standing stitch. Almost all the way around, work the last corner, the double, the treble and the double between the stitches. I've got here a few more to do. I'm currently in a single crochet in that double, so I still need to make a double crochet behind the stitch. And then work a single crochet up top here on the next double. At this point, your next stitch is that standing stitch. So that means we're now completely round. I'm going to cut my yarn, open up, and close with an invisible join. So I'm just going to pick up my yarn with a needle. To make the invisible join, this here is the standing stitch. If you were to close in the standing stitch with a slip stitch, you just pick up that first loop and the second one, let's see it to the back. You would work a um, slip stitch in those two loops. I'm however going to be doing an invisible join, which means I'm going to go to the stitch next to it. That's going to be this single crochet. And make a hat for the standing stitch. Go down through the top of that last single crochet worked. I'm also going to go down the treble, or the double crochet I should say. So just go all the way down to the purple, which I'm just trying to loop. And there we go. And push through. And you can see as I'm closing the stitch, you see that there is my invisible join that's going to, going to make, a, make a hat for this standing stitch that I made. Which means if you look from the front here to the back you see the standing stitch and then at the top you see the invisible join. I can work away my yarn tail and that completes this round. Round 11 I have a new color yarn on my hook and we're going to start in the fourth stitch from any corner treble. So this is the corner treble then we're going to count four stitches on. So that's the corner treble Then in the one, two, three, fourth stitch from that corner. Show you again. This is the corner treble, it's behind that loop there in one, two, three, in the fourth stitch. I'm going to start in there with a standing single crochet. Continue and we work six more single crochets. So one, two, three, five and six. So you now have seven single crochets in total. We're going to skip three stitches. That's one, two, three stitches skip. In the fourth stitch we're going to work um, a group of stitches. Three trebles, a front post double treble and again three trebles. So twice over for the treble and so skip one, two, three stitches here in the fourth. Work one treble, two trebles, three trebles, three trebles. Now we work a front post double treble around the post of this same stitch. Let's do one, two, 
three times over for the double treble then around the post of that stitch and this is only a single crochet so it's going to be a rather small post work a double treble just keep taking off all those loops now you're going to have to come back a little bit behind this front post double treble and work again three trebles in that same stitch so twice over just a little bit to the back here in that same position so you already have three trebles in there going to work another treble and another one and another one so you've got three more and this is the group of stitches that you needed to work so it's three trebles, a front post, double treble and three trebles all in the same stitch now to skip three stitches again that's the one, two, three stitches and the fourth work a single and this is the first of eight so that's one, two, and eight. Eight single crochets. I'm going to skip two stitches. One, two. And then that next stitch should be the corner treble. So that should be your next stitch. Go twice over, then one, two stitches skip, then the third is the treble. And in there we're going to work the same group of stitches as we worked here. So first treble, second treble, and the third treble. The front post double treble we're going to hook over the treble kind of covering this corner. So one, two, three times over then around the post of that treble, just going to have to bring it up from behind the corner, it'll be a little bit to the back and then one, two, three, four, oh dear four times, there we go in the same stitch, so again a treble in that same stitch, seems going to so push this front post to the side, they can really get into that stitch and then work three trebles and this is two and three that's your new corner made I'm going to skip two stitches and then work a single crochet, so it's one, two, skip then work one single crochet and this is again the first of eight that's one two three four five six seven and eight this single crochet here is exactly the same as this single crochet here before the group of stitches so from the group this corner up to there you're going to repeat that on all your other edges also so you're now going to skip three stitches and then in the fourth work that group of trebles front post double treble and three trebles skip three stitches work your single crochets work the new corner in your um, in this treble stitch here etc etc go all the way around when you get to your first stitch close with a slip stitch or an invisible join round 12 this round we're going to start in the corner so this front post double treble here is your corner
corner. I have a new color yarn on my hook. I'm going to work in the back loop of that stitch, work a standing single crochet. If you want to, you'll notice that you open up this loop when you work in only the back loop. You can also pick up the third loop from the back. There's an extra loop there. If you want, you can also pick that up. That'll just make this less likely to open up. It's one, two, three single crochets in the corner. And that center one is your new corner. Everything is in the back loop. The next stitch, work back loop single crochet and do that for each other stitch also. If you want to, the back loop and the third loop, which you see there to the back, you can also grab that loop. That's just to prevent holes in your work. If you don't like that, then don't do it. Then just work in the back loop only. Also good. This is a tip I, I learned from another designer and that really helps to prevent holes in your work. I'm however just going to do back loop only to not grab the third loop, so just the back loop and work a single crochet on every stitch. When you get to the next corner, which is going to be this front post double treble, work three single crochets in the back loop of that stitch. Go all the way around and close on the first stitch with a slip stitch. Round 13. In this round we're going to be filling up these gaps here. We're going to be filling those up. Start with a chain one. This does not count as a stitch, it's just to get you to the correct height. Then work a single crochet in the same stitch. In the next stitch, which is the corner, I'm going to work three singles. One, two, and three. On the first straight edge, work three single crochets on the first stitches. This is the first one. That's one, two, three. On the next two stitches we work a half double. That's one and two. On the next six stitches we're going to work a double crochet. The next stitch is this one. It's one, two, Three, four, five, and six. There we go. Six double crochets. Half double on the next two. So one, two, and then a single crochet on the next two stitches. One, two. The next stitch will be the top here. That is, that this is a stitch that's worked into this front post um, double treble. So this is the top of this um, of this group of stitches. I'm going to work a slip stitch in that stitch very loosely because if you work it too tight, you're going to um, um, uh, pull your work inwards, and you don't want that. So in the next stitch, and really give this stitch some room, work a slip stitch. And work it loosely. Now we're going to come down and work similar to what we did on this side, on the next side. That means, I've got a cat here, here, here somewhere. That means on the next two stitches, a single crochet. So one, two. See that slip stitch there is reasonably loose, how everything stays straight. Okay, two singles, half doubles in the next two. One, two, a double crochet on the next six. So one, two, 
three, four, five, and six. On the next two stitches, a half double. Two, and then a single crochet on the next one, two, three single crochets. The next stitch is your corner again. See that's the second of those three. So that stitch is the corner. Work three singles. One, two, three. This is your new corner made and these three singles are exactly the same as those three singles we worked in that corner. So along this edge do on the other three also and then close here on that first single crochet. Round 14, last round of this square. Use this round to adjust for size if needed. I'm going to work a round of double crochets. If your square turns out larger than mine, use half doubles, etc. In the pattern there are some tips on how to do that. I'm going to work double crochets. My first double crochet is going to be a chain 3, then work a half double, uh, sorry, a double crochet on the next stitch. The next stitch is my corner. It's that corner stitch there. I'm going to work a double, another double, a treble, all still in the same stitch, and then two more doubles, and two. This is my corner made. So the two doubles treble and two doubles, and that treble is the corner stitch. Now I'm going to continue and work a double on every stitch. And when I get to my next corner stitch, I again work two doubles, a treble, and two doubles. Go all the way around, and you here on your last stitch, close with an invisible join on that first stitch. When you've completed the last round, this is what your square looks like. I've noticed that it pulls inward a bit, so there's quite a lot of stretch on this square. So I'm just going to use that stretch to just get it into shape and to the size that I want it to be. So block this square, it'll also help you to get those edges and lines nice and straight and crisp. And when you've completed the blocking of your square, it looks nice and flat, and your edges are nice and straight. Bring us to the end of this instruction video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.